Tired of memorizing Nier's classification again and again? Let's master it once and for all in just 60 seconds. Step 1 logic. Nier's system isn't about the number of fracture lines. It's about displacement. If any fragment moves more than 1 centimeter or tilts more than 45 degrees, it becomes a new part. Say it again, more than 1 centimeter or more than 45 degrees. That's a separate part. Step 2. Layout. Visualize a 4x4 four four grid, 4 fragments across the side, and 4 levels of displacement across the top. The 4 fragments are easy to remember with the letters ASGL. A for anatomical neck, S for surgical neck, G for greater tuberosity, and L for lesser tuberosity. Now move across the grid, 2 part, 3 part, 4 part, and the addendum in the bottom fracture dislocation types. Anterior and posterior. Anterior fracture dislocation can be two part, three part, or four part. Similarly, posterior can be as well. The last type is the head split fracture. The serious last type is the shattered head. That's your complete near table. Step three link. Connect each to a real picture in your mind. Surgical neck, the hanging head fracture. Greater tuberosity, rotator cuff avulsion. Lesser tuberosity subscapularis tear. Four part, the shattered head at risk of a vascular necrosis. When you link the image, the memory locks in. So remember, near equals displacement greater than one centimeter or 45 degrees. Four fragments, ASGL. Arrange them in the four by four grid and the two fracture dislocation type addendums in the bottom and the concept will stay with you forever. Learn orthopedics the smart way with Dr. Leander at Mentor Exam. Have any difficult concepts? Need help in remembering complex topics? Place your requests. Ask your queries in the comment section.